I knew it was inevitable. I knew I'd have to talk about it. I've been asked about it multiple times. And since I was just asked about it again, and I'm sitting here, let's talk about the Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut. The cut that could have saved the Justice League movie. The cut that could have made it all the more better. The cut that could literally raise the heavens and... Ugh. This is going to sound somewhat negative. And I'll explain it. The Snyder Cut... is only somewhat important and not very important at all. Listen here. Let's say they do... First off, the Snyder Cut does not exist in the fashion people seem to think it exists in. It's not done. It can't be done. That's not the way movies work. And I don't care what pictures or evidence that you have where it shows the Snyder Cut with a bunch of reels, and I don't care what the director has said or what he's trying to do to fix part of his legacy because his name is tied to the damn thing. The movie was bad, okay? I enjoyed it, mind you. But I looked through an awful lot of flaws to enjoy it. Now look, they can't save this movie with the Snyder Cut. And even if they could, the cut doesn't exist. It's not done. Movies don't work that way. It's just like the Donner Cut all those years later. It took dollars to make that happen, to bring him in and to let him work on something and build scenes and change certain angles digitally and whatnot to create what he created so that he could have his cut. And while it was very cool, and quite honestly, after watching it a couple times, I do prefer the Donner Cut. So this is in credit to the idea that there's a Snyder Cut for the Justice League movies. It could very well make the movie better. It could. But the movie's not done. Movies are an incredibly complicated thing nowadays. And in order to do what they're talking about doing, his movie wasn't finished. There are scenes missing, which means that certain ideas in his original script did not get completed. That, that's just the way it is. Even if he built a first screening of the movie, that's a first screening. It is a very, very, very rough draft. And the way that movies work is often there will be five or six different drafts of a movie figuring out exactly how we want it to go. There's too much conversation here. This isn't quite working the right way. Uh, I'd like more climax fight scene here. This has to work better. Uh, you could probably tone this part down. This needs to change. This isn't working quite the way I thought it was going to work now that I'm seeing it in motion. Yada, yada, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes costumes and all sorts of di different things get changed. And the truth of the matter is this. The Snyder Cut was never finished. If it exists, it's a very rough movie. And if they bring him back, which I just recently saw an article that says that it's going to take like 30 to $40 million to allow him to make his cut. And while that is fine, if they're willing to pay it and put out a new version of the movie, that quite very well might make it better. Let's be honest, the director's cut of Daredevil with Ben Affleck was more enjoyable. It was. There, were, there was an entire area of the, of the movie that was missing. The fight scenes were enhanced. They're, they were a little bit longer. We got more time with the kid. We got a little more storyline development, a little more background into Daredevil. And quite frankly, we got more time to see what that movie was supposed to be. And that makes it better altogether. Did it make it a better movie? Uh, yeah, arguable. Yes, uh, the movie is still bad. It's like a strange guilty pleasure of mine. I watch that Daredevil movie. I don't necessarily think it's any kind of wonderful and this is going to be the same thing. They can't fix this. I'm telling you, uh, th there's one big thing that's working against them here. And that is that the Snyder Cut has become this kind of legend all of a sudden. Like it's going to fix a bunch of things and it's going gonna, it's gonna to make artistic, art, artistic integrity uh, 
more defined or something like it, it, people are giving this praise that it doesn't yet deserve and my biggest problem with the Snyder Cut is that when it does come out it's going to disappoint a lot of people because it's inevitable now you cannot live up to the hype of a legend you can't it's the reason sequels almost never do as good as the original I like the second Ghostbusters movie I like the first Ghostbusters movie and I could argue in some cases I like the second one more but a lot of people will disagree with me on that one because the legend of the first movie is so big and it is so iconic and it is so classic that it's almost impossible to top and this happens time and time and time and time and time again in our media and then we have issues like this where this thing is legendary and hyped before it ever hits the ground and when this thing comes out all it's going to do is disappoint people across the board no matter what it does it will have defenders it will have people that claim it fixed the Justice League movie it will have people that claim that it's so much better it will have people that claim and define it and study it and go scene for scene and talk about it and I know what people are hoping here but it's not gonna happen guys his cut doesn't actually exist it still needs to be made it's not something that they, that they just have sitting in a vault that they're gonna release it it is already proven it has been said time and time and time and time again that it will take money to complete this magical cut that everybody thinks is already complete the Snyder movie the Snyder cut will not save this movie and it will not live up to the expectations that people are already putting down on it in fact I would go as far as to tell you that the Snyder Cut is fable everybody's going to expect something that it cannot deliver and it will not deliver it am I looking forward to it now that supposedly it's going to appear on HBO and that I imagine after that we will get a physical release of it and so on and so forth uh, yes I am I am legitimately looking forward to it I think that if they go in and if they make it it might be it'll give me a different perspective on what the movie could have been and what the movie was and I like that idea but just like the Lester versus Donner cut while I may prefer the Donner cut now I can't deny the greatness that was the Lester cut and all the things it gave me and I also can't deny that Lester did certain things better in his version and Donner did in his version and I'm sure I'm gonna see the same thing here but I'm just asking people I'm telling people back down a bit because this movie this this one cut of a single film is not about to revolutionize the industry and it's not about to change anything and it's not about to save this Justice League movie because the Justice League movie is bad and maybe had these story arcs been allowed to play out had they been allowed to go the full distance and get five six movies to actually flesh out what the intention of these darker DC films were going to be and then bring us into the light like maybe that would have been really cool and you would have appreciated it a thousand times more in hindsight as you went back and saw uh, Batman v Superman Man of Steel so on and so forth and watched the Justice League and said I see exactly where they were going this is a good buildup but we don't have that and we won't have that so this is just going to be a weird standalone movie trying to let people believe that he can it's not gonna help I'm interested to see it but I'm telling you right now I'm a skeptic here it, they cannot fix this movie no matter what his version is and that's where I stand with it I'm sorry that's how I see it the Snyder Cut is a legend it is a fabricated legend amongst him and a fan base that now believes it to be something bigger than it actually is and there's going to be a lot of disappointed people I'm calling it now and you know what um, I feel like I'm very right here but I, I can hope to be wrong because who knows 
maybe this blows us out of the water and changes everything and we go right back and bring Ben Affleck back and yeah, it's not going to happen. Sorry guys, skeptic here. Uh, call me out in the comments if you want. Later on. I have spoken. Take what you will from it.